Hey everyone, this is Phil again from Church Street Creations, and I'm going to show you today how I've made this, uh, what I'd call a bread tray. Uh, somebody gave me a design that they liked, and I made one, uh, and they were pretty happy with it, so I made one for myself, and this actually is pretty nice for sliced French bread or something like that, you bring it out and serve soup uh, with the bread, and it's actually quite nice. I made this out of a piece of box elder. Um, it's actually pretty thin. It uh, doesn't need to be thick. It's got an interesting handle on it, and I'd make this using you know, the same sort of tools that I've made in the other videos, uh, just to get a sense of the size. This is a 5-inch sanding disc, so it's not a particularly large item. I've had people ask me for smaller ones, slightly larger ones, but uh, uh, fundamentally the same shape. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lay that shape out on a block, which I kind of already did. Uh, this block is, oh, I don't know about two inches thick and it has a pretty terrible void in it that you can see I've cleaned out a little bit but it doesn't go all the way through and I'm thinking well you know I can make something out of this still it'll be pretty nice it's got a couple of nice flames in it so all I did was I just laid the bowl upside down on it and unfortunately it's a little bit too short here but that's okay I'll just make a shorter handle and I laid out the lines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this material just using a chop saw and then I'm going to clamp to the bench and I'm going to use the Arbitech turbo plane uh, to take out uh, the shape inside here, uh, rough it out top and bottom, and then I'll, I'll sand it using uh, an endless supply of sanding paper. All right? So let me do that and I'll be right back. So I chopped off a couple of edges here as best I can. I was going to use my um, jigsaw, but I didn't, couldn't find a long enough bit. I don't know where the heck that went. And so I just used the chop saw and chopped off a couple of pieces here. But at the end of the day, uh, I can take this down really quickly with the Arbitech too. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I left this little piece on here just to kind of show you. You know, the back side here didn't cut all the way through because of the chop saw is depth. So I'm just going to take the Arbitech to it and we'll get rid of that uh, with no problem at all. Clamp this to the bench. Put my headphones on. It's pretty nice how fast that takes that down. Uh, that chunk is gone, and I actually um, carved out the edge here. I just try to get close to the line, and I'll fine-tune that as I go. Um, I want to leave a little bit of wood over here um, and up here just so I can clamp, but I'm going to take this curve out then, and then I'll start uh, carving out the, um, the bowl shape. And actually, I think I'll chop these corners off too with the chop saw. One of the things I like about this tool is that you know, it, it is spinning at 12,000 RPM and it can be a bit of a beast, but after you get used to using it a little bit, you really have a lot of fine control with it and you can go quite gently or quite aggressively and it just really depends on uh, your skill and it doesn't take a whack of a lot of skill if I can do it. the rough outline and ultimately uh, I could just use the Arbitech to carve out the bowl. Uh, here's a tip. Uh, what I like to do is sort of draw out a little bit of the inside design and uh, 